here we have 75.4 percent of water I have added 10 percent water extra rose glycerite of 4 percent allantoin of 0.5 percent and sodium gluconate chelating agent of 0.1 percent for the oil phase, I have emulsifying wax NF of 4%, ceterial alcohol of 1%, sepimexin of 0.3% and lanolin of 2%. Next in the oil phase goes almond oil of 6% and alkanet infused coconut oil of 4%. And for the cool down phase, 0.6% of rose garden fragrance oil. 1% of GeoGuard ECT preservative 1% of Dimethicone 350 and 0.1% of Vitamin E We will put aside the cool down phase ingredients These are the water soluble water phase ingredients and these are the oil soluble ingredients I will add the water soluble ingredients The first one is Rose Glycerite Next is the sodium gluconate and allantoin. I'll heat both the oil and water phase on a double boiler. I'll add all the oil phase ingredients in this beaker. Sepimax then can be added in the water phase too but to make creams or lotions it can be added in the heated oil or cool oil phase. I'll add the oils too. Now these two go on a double boiler for 15 to 20 minutes. So here I have my melted oil face and the water face which is heated. I will pour the oil face into the water face and then mix it using the mesh and blender. Note that Sepimax then will not completely dissolve into the oil because it is water soluble. I will mix it using immersion blender. I will pour down the cool down ingredients. these kind of narrow bottles I have bought this from a uh, local laboratory supply store I have to fill it again and pour it into this container I am going to fill this tiny bottle as well travel size bag with the lotion using the same syringe. And here is the moisturizing rose body lotion for a quick demo.
This doesn't have a soapy feel due to the dimethicone.